Well, lots of people are called legends these days, but there are a few legends in Pittsburgh and maybe even in the world of weather forecasting like Joe DiNardo. Joe died today at the age of 87. He started in TV here at KDKA way back when, but he went on to become a true Pittsburgh icon over decades at Channel 4, displaying a one-of-a-kind love of forecasting the weather and of Pittsburgh. It was the 1960s. TV news was young, and so was Joe DiNardo. He, Don Cannon, and Paul Long became the familiar faces of WTAE TV. I'm buying. Uh, how do you want your coffee? I'll take mine served at 150 degrees, followed by a cooling trend and an accumulation of three quarters of an inch of cream, please. DiNardo never set out to be a TV weatherman, as he told students during a visit to Cal U in 2011. I had my own weather consulting firm, and that was most important on my mind right then and there. And it was just another thing for me to do. That just another thing to do turned into a 34-year career. Through every major weather story, Joe was there. The blizzard of 1977. Joe, what can we look for tonight? Well, Don, as mentioned, we've been following this system. A steady voice in good times and bad. And if Joe DiNardo is in the building, you know it's a serious <laughs> storm. He was a larger-than-life personality. How many local personalities had a whole ad campaign named for them? He even had his own street, Joe DiNardo Way, in his adopted hometown of Moon. But Joe will be remembered as much, maybe even more, for what he gave back to the community. The famed school visits. He figured he did nearly 700 over his career and the millions raised for the needy through the Salvation Army's Project Bundle Up. Joe's life is the story of a man who didn't aim to be famous or loved or admired by millions, but through the force of his unique personality, managed to do it anyway. And John Burnett, uh, if you knew Joe, you know he had no hesitation when it came to laughing at himself. And coming up at 6, we're going to share some of the lighthearted Joe moments that we found in the archives. I think they'll make you smile even on this sad day. Joe DiNardo, one of a kind. It, well, and isn't it always true, Ken, with all the great people that we've known in our lives, they are always full of humility and charity. And Joe was just, he was a great guy. He was one of those bigger than life guys that I can remember watching when I was doing Evening Magazine with Liz Miles and not doing weather, I was watching Joe and Bob Kuzma, and these were both, they were both legends in this market at the same time. And many of us here at KDK. And you worked with we him. We worked with him. Yeah, yeah, I worked with him for six years back in the late 80s, early 90s. He took the weather so seriously, but he oh, yeah. was so quick to, to not take himself seriously. Right. Kind of a prankster. He was great in those old promos. What a um, great voice he had, too. Oh, my goodness. Him yeah. and Sophie. Between <laughs> Sophie Masloff and Joe DiNardo, it's just no, like... Sir quintessential Pittsburgh voices. And for so many people, their childhood memories will consist of, uh, in part, Joe DiNardo arriving in the helicopter for the, the famous school visits. Exactly. And just real quickly, a big moment for me was one time when I saw Joe at a charity event, and he came up to me and he said, hey, kid, I caught your act today. You're okay. <laughs> and that was it. That was, good, yeah. that was Joe's approval. He said, good luck to you. <laughs> and, he, and he just, you know, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. I, I was a nobody. Yeah. I'm still a nobody. But Joe DiNardo, was, he was a god in this market at one time. Good man, and he will be missed. Yep.